Good morning. It's Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Rough Road Home. In our scriptures, Isaiah's Prophecy, chapter 57. God says, Rebuild the road. Clear away the rocks and stones so my people can return from captivity. The high and lofty one who lives in eternity, the Holy One, says this, I live in the high and holy place with those whose spirits are contrite and humble. I restore the crushed spirit of the humble and revive the courage of those with repentant hearts. For I will not fight against you forever. I will not always be angry. If I were, all people would pass away, all the souls I have made. I was angry, so I punished these greedy people. I withdrew from them, but they kept going on their own stubborn way. I have seen what they do, but I will heal them anyway. I will lead them. I will comfort those who mourn, bringing words of praise to their lips. May they have abundant peace, both near and far, says the Lord who heals them. But those who still reject me are like the restless sea, which is never still, but continually churns up mud and dirt. There is no peace for the wicked, says my God. The prophet reaches into the psyche of every wanderer. Thoughts of home seep into every waking moment of silence. This part of Isaiah's comforting word to God's people in captivity because they strayed from God's ways opens the possibility of return. It's a rough road home, but God is the one with peace for the troubled soul at the end of the journey. Grasping the surreal possibility of being able to come home after rejecting God may not be easy to accept. However, the only other alternative is the way the passage ends. No peace for the wicked. The Father says, you must come home. Passages in Scripture like this one, and the prodigal son, the forgiveness of the thief on the cross next to Jesus, and many others are so precious. They're offering hope to those who have strayed from their Creator. They are precious because they reveal the heart of God, which is love that desires the best for each of us. In many lives, that central loving heart of God's may take many years to get through the hard exterior life tends to build around our own hearts. But God's love is tough and relentless and impervious to our foolish ways. And when the weary, wandering soul finally arrives at the place called Nowhere Else to Go, the rough road of humble repentance only requires one small step. And that one contrite step towards God is all that's required to have the floodgate of peace opened wide. For you today, you may have traveled the highways of life that seemed easier and much more suitable to you to bring you what you wanted, and been successful or a dismal failure. Either way, if you're still with me this far, you've also no doubt discovered rejecting God's way has been emptiness of the soul. The missing piece is like the dangling carrot in front of the mule pulling the cart. He's never going to reach it, just like peace will always be just out of reach for you. So, is it time to rebuild the road home? Hear one more time what the rebuilt road home looks like in your life. The high and lofty one who lives in eternity, the Holy One, says this, I live in the high and holy place with those whose spirits are contrite and humble. I restore the crushed spirit of the humble and revive the courage of those with repentant hearts. Restoration and reviving, it's worth the trip no matter how rough the repair job gets on the road back home. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.